Good day, friends, my name is Joe Poke, and welcome back to Space Engine. So, uh, today I want to do something a little different for some of it. I want to do a little bit of a something fun because I feel like these videos have been pretty boring. And I know some people like that. I could imagine people watching these videos, like, just for I don't know, kind of a relaxation kind of thing, you know, just put it in the background just to see the, the cool sights and stuff like that. <clears throat> Uh, but in this episode, I want to take a look at some black holes, maybe one or two black holes. And I also want to look at neutron stars, because um, they're kind of similar in the way they behave. They're not really similar at all, but <laughs> in the way they behave, they're kind of similar uh, in this game. So, yeah, I want to do that. And I also just want to see if we can make some cool cinematic-like shots in the planets, you know? Um, I kind of inadvertently do that in most of my videos anyway, but... You know, we can try to do that on purpose this time. <laughs> Alright, so first off, let's check out a black hole. I believe there's one... I don't know if it's in there. It's like in the saved locations, I think. Also, I'm really sorry if I've been like super out of it in the past few videos. I know it's like... I don't know, I just look back and I'm like, God, this must be so boring to watch. I'm trying to you know, be more awake in these videos, it's just hard, you know, there's a lot going on school and everything, so hopefully this one isn't, I'm gonna be, try to be more conscious of it in this video, so alright, so solitary black hole, this is just a black hole in the middle of nowhere, I'm not sure if it's real or not, it might be, I don't know okay, so here's the black hole and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with uh, why black holes do this to the surrounding light but if you don't, it's basically because the gravitational pull of a black hole is so strong that it, you know, bends the light um, around it. So it sucks in just all the light, and that's why you get this crazy lensing effect, which is actually really mesmerizing to look at. pretty cool. I've tried going inside one in this game, but it doesn't really do anything. It just kind of glitches out a little bit. I think we probably have hit the event horizon at this point. <laughs> yeah, it gets pretty crazy. Okay, let's back out of there. It's funny though, because you could be, uh, when I found one on my, just on my own, I was just exploring and stuff and it was in a binary system with another star it was like a, a star in a black hole um, and I, I figured it, this would show up like this weird morphing of the the surrounding light but no it's really you have to get really really close for that to happen like it didn't look anything like like I'm still really close uh, to be able to see how it's messing around like that from far away it really doesn't you can't you can't see it it's so cool Alright, let's try to find a planet with life, or at least a good-looking planet. I don't really care if it has life. It doesn't really matter. I mean, as you can see, the fun to see is if, you know, life could actually be there. Look at this. First one I click on. 23 planets, 2 with life. Cool. Yeah. I don't know how that works. Like, sometimes you find gas giants like this one, which has aerial life. That's, like, crazy to think about. Imagine just a life form that is completely aerial. <laughs> I just don't understand how that would be possible, but I don't know. This planet looks pretty cool. Another one of those... I seem to like the green planets, because that's an Oceana. Those are pretty boring. Let's check out this green one. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm starting to notice that a lot of these planets kind of look the same. And I'm not sure if that's for a reason or it's just because of the the coding of the game. But, you know, they're still fun to look at. Let's go to the, uh... I don't know what they call this, but like the, the sunset part of the planet, I guess. Right, here's a cool shot. slowly sinking down. I've thought about making like a montage of like really cool shots like this. I mean, this one isn't that cool, it's just mountains, but I don't know, it still looks cool to me. I feel like I should probably do that, making like a... Okay, so the game just crashed on me and that's like, it's 
been happening so much, unfortunately, and it, it kind of sucks. Um, I don't know, I hope it doesn't happen a lot. Whoa, look at all these red ones. Oh, there goes the frame rate. <laughs> what are all of these? Are these all giants? Probably. They're all little nebulas? That's weird. These are all little baby nebulas. Nebulas are really cool when you get up close to them. Okay, so let's check out a neutron star. Um, they're really, really cool. They're actually really interesting too. I don't know too much about them. I did a little while ago, but I kind of forgot. <laughs> um, but they are really cool. Here's one that I know of, or at least I looked it up online of known neutron star. Yep, there's one. <laughs> so this is what they look like in the game. Um, I don't know how accurate this really is. Of course, it's just a simulator, but they are very active neutron stars. Um, and if you, as you can see, it's doing like a black hole would do. It's like bending the light around it um, because it's like it's got such a big gravitational pull. Because neutron stars are like really dense, not as dense as a black hole, I, th I don't think, but they are very dense. Also. What's interesting about neutron stars is that they're super tiny. Like, as you can see, I'm going, yeah, I'm only going eight meters per second right now. Like, this thing is only like maybe five kilometers across. Like, that's, that's really tiny. Like, I'm only going one meter per second and I'm actually seeing a distance increase, which means that this thing is pretty small. I love how fake it looks. Like, look at those those planets on the bottom there that are just bending because I'm moving the star around. It's pretty weird. Yeah, but yeah, if we can, yeah, see, you get that same black hole effect with the neutron star. So, because if I zoom out far enough, you, you would never know. I mean, of course, scientists and stuff would know, but, like, it's pretty hard to know that it's a neutron star just by looking at it, because it just looks like a blue, like, main sequence star from the outside because of how bright it is. But then when you get closer, it's almost impossible to do this because they're so small. If you just try to freehand going into it without actually clicking G, it's very difficult, as you can see. I'm just going to press G. See, so yeah, like, it's super tiny. And getting close enough uh, just gets rid of the big brightness glow that it has about it, so... Yeah. Really interesting stuff, guys. By the way, don't take anything I just said for 100%. T take it with a grain of salt, because I don't... I'm not a scientist. I just am an enthusiast, as they say in the unintelligent community. <laughs> Alright, so that's a neutron star. Let's check out some uh, pretty stuff, though. I mean, the neutron star was pretty nice, but let's look at some scenic views. Which is what we were trying to do before the game crashed. Hopefully that doesn't happen whenever I lens on a planet, because that would kind of suck. Okay. One with life. A titan with life. Wow, it's the last video all over again. <laughs> all the dang titans. Well, this one looks nice. Ooh, I've never seen a planet this color before, actually. Very purpley. I like zooming in on these, because I like the way they're modeled. They're actually... I don't know, they're not three-dimensionally modeled, but they're... It's cool, because if you get close, you can still see all the detail. Those little hurricanes. That's pretty scary. <laughs> Man, this planet is like eerie. I'm uncomfortable. I really wish they would add a um, a feature, and I know it may sound it may sound kind of silly, but I want a feature where it could simulate walking on the surface. I don't know, it's a really small thing, but I just feel like it would add a lot of immersion. 
So if you could just walk on the surface. I almost just mentioned No Man's Sky again. I gotta stop doing that because, my god, I am looking forward to that game. It's taking over my life. I like, I legitimately Google it every day. I think I tweeted about it because it's obsessive. <laughs> I really cannot wait for that game to come out. And you bet I'm gonna be playing it on this channel, by the way, when it comes out like day one. Don't crash. The audio just cut out. I don't want that to happen again. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Also, the music, I'm sorry that this isn't actually in-game music that you're hearing right now. I'm hearing in-game music, but you're not going to hear in-game music because I got in trouble last time. Uh, apparently, a lot of that stuff is copywritten, which I thought was weird for such a small game to actually have copywritten music, but hey, uh, it is what it is. So I found some, you know, pleasant to listen to, copyright-free music that I put in the background of these videos, as well as the last one. I didn't mention it in the last video. That's so weird to read. This is a scorched ice giant. It sounds like an oxymoron, but it's actually not, according to uh, the Space Engine website. They're like, it's not a typo. So, I, know, I didn't read the explanation of what that means, but it's pretty crazy that there can be a scorched ice giant. <laughs> I think this shot has potential, guys. I'm gonna try to cheat the system. It's so cool that I can do this. I gotta get the game, uh, what's it called? Universe Sandbox. That game looks really cool. You can, like, uh, move planets around and stuff. Alright, stop. I think this has the potential to be pretty nice. Alright, now let's put it on flight mode. It's so cool to look at. Earth is boring, man. No, but Earth is actually pretty interesting. I'm sorry I said that. A lot of these people watching this are probably from Earth, so I apologize for offending you. <laughs> I love these little inter-ring... Inter-ring? I don't know if how, that's how you say it, but like these little moons that are between the rings of a gas giant. They're cool. It makes like spaces. Uh, sort of like... Uh, what's it called? The moon on Saturn. I think it's called Pan? Pan? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. But I'm pretty sure Saturn's little moon between the rings is called Pan. And that's what it did. It like, made a space because of the gravity. God, space is so cool. Titans are very pleasant to look at, but they're... Like I said in the last video, I don't understand Titans at all. I haven't looked it up since then, but I don't... I don't know. See, this is what I was talking about. Like, the surface, like, that's all... That's, like, opaque. The surface of this Titan. And then there's stuff underneath it. looks rocky. Man, I am failing miserably at trying to find cool planets to make interesting uh, shots, like cinematic shots. It's not as easy as I thought it would be, seeing as it's kind of what I did in the last few videos. I mean... This is a pleasant view. I like just putting it on airplane mode and just giving it a little bit of inertia to keep going. Man, I really should make like a montage. God, look how gorgeous this game is. It's unbelievable. <sighs> Shed a tear.
I'll let this go for a little while longer so I can say thank you guys for any of you that are a returning subscriber it really does mean a lot that people actually found this video found these videos rather and thought enough of me to subscribe it really really warms my heart um, yeah so thank you all of like 40 of you I think there is now hey it means a lot alright guys so unfortunately I have to leave this video here um, I gotta get this done and then edit it and then put it up and then I have somewhere to be so I am gonna leave this video here thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button below right down there and um, yeah uh, subscribe if you want to see more I'll see you guys in the next video Thank you.